Hello and welcome to the CECC South Regional Qualifiers for Overwatch. Um, now we will be going into Kennesaw, uh, to a match against Kennesaw State. <laughs> I'm Megan. I'm Z I'm Xander, or that. Yeah, how do you pronounce that? Yule, Yule Lifferman. Good luck. <laughs> Not even Good luck. Try. But here we go, starting on Oasis. Ooh, this will be it, a fun game. I swear. If Petal stays on that on that uh, junk rat. <laughs> this will be a good time. Now, UTD ah. did fight against Kennesaw yesterday, actually. Yes, they did, and we won 3-0. Mm -hmm. So this is a rematch fight. Yeah, Kennesaw State are probably gonna try and come back stronger than ever, but we will see if that is any match for UT Dallas. Got two fish here already riding around on the point. Already going in strong, Jukebox is charging right on in. Jukebox getting loads of charge. Prison falls low, but takes out Posture with a real gun headshot. Posture taking out Petal. Doesn't look good for UTD at the moment. Inspire down, and Savior. Yep. Minnesota will take the point first. Dallas will need to regroup and come back in. I was say, Council is taking from UTD's book and just pushing it all the way to spawn. But it doesn't seem to be the case here. Pulling at this choke, where a lot of fights do take place. That feels much better. Oh, he just keep his team up. He's got the amplification matrix online. But Ooh, Kasha to come Kezin, really thick. Oh! Got both of the DPS for Kennesaw down. Once again, completely denying the square. Yep. He did invest the, the Matrix, but it did not. It, Petal gets a 3k! Oh. Petal is, it's good. He's on his ult account. Square being placed. Yeah, UTD kind of moving up into the into Kennesaw spawn here. He is very big on their aggression. Roger does have the blade online. When Kennesaw try to re-engage, he will probably dive in and pull that out. Both oh, Genji's bad. with blade. Both Genji's popping blade. Both are bringing them out. Yep. Kasha gets two though. He definitely gets more value out of that blade, however. Absolutely. That will be another fight win for UT Dallas. With two kill. Now both Petal and Jukebox do have their ults, which can be huge together. Yeah, but so do Kennesaw with Ooh, grab being placed, taking out Jukebox immediately. Ooh, Kevin gets, uh, pops his ult. Manages to get pedal. See, Jukebox also uses his ult. But you see, he does have two ults still left. And they Genji are contesting one. quite fiercely. The like Genji Clash goes on to the sides. Kesha barely managed, out, managed to get out. Still does invest the overclock along with Savior's beat. Ash goes down, so does Kezin. So that was your commit. That's huge for UTD. It'll pop it off with that railgun. The sojourn is really looking great. Sure, coming in to take down two fish. Looks like we won't be able to kill, but we'll be able to get that charge up a little bit longer. Right, just trying to get on point. Make it go into overtime. Asha brings out the blade. Not getting anything out of it, though. 
That's a bit of damage. Does take out the Baptiste, however. That's yeah. huge. And two pitches down, too. Because it has no healing here, and they just go down like flies. Is point uh, the first round going to UT Dallas on Oasis? Score one to zero. Ready for battle. Maybe this will be a uh, repeat of yesterday's match with we the 3 0. Because I'm, I'm sure Kennesaw would love to get their revenge. Don't let my immortality field go to your head. It's temporary. You can still die. Five, four, Each three, side bringing out two, the quick Symmetra teleport. Behold my We're sticking with the mirror comps. Gigi Dallas does touch the point of the Flash. Oh, actually, Flash is keeping uh, Flash here and Saber actually isolated, but they managed to get out and actually live. Jukebox goes down to Flash. It's a great pick for the side of Kinesaw. <laughs> not having your tank for the fight is very detrimental. Oh! Down by Edel. That's huge. That's so much healing gone. And tank done. I think this is it for the Kennesaw. What looked to be a fight win for Kennesaw actually turned out to be for UT Dallas. They definitely st they stalled long enough for all the dead players to come right back. I should just trying to get some poke damage in. the square trying to get some value out of it do like just throwing some projectiles through it's not really getting any kills though UTD is down a DPS and a tank so that's not look good for UTD there you get taken out by clash will be a fight win as they point using pedal to run back it does have the overclock online as well as Kasha's blade. Kasha popping he blade. blade. See if he gets any picks here. Getting Clash and dealing a decent amount of damage to the Zarya. Except for all on his own gets taken down. Good to see you. Stay put. Oh, just trying to stall for time here. Flash does have the blade. He does dive into the back line and pops it, taking out Tin's fire. Not before getting grabbed, however. Dude, Buck's just melting away at Prototyper. Pop. Getting, getting pedal, but not being able to manage to get that kill. Savior responds with the beat job. Ooh. And either prototype or Kesson got value out of their ultimate, sir. Taking out the Doomfist immediately. And that is a quick win on, on the first on Oasis for UTD. I still think it's still, once again, that old usage, that old value that they get. That definitely, you can definitely see the favor swing. Yeah, UT Dallas do not let some measly ults from Kennesaw 
change the tide of the fight. We are waiting to... The next map should be um, a hybrid. Or no, it's Escort. It's just Escort. It's just Escort? It's just Payload, mm. yeah. So we will wait to find out what the map may be. This is my, yeah, Escort. Yes. It should be Gibraltar, if I am correct? Um, I don't... I think they pulled... The, yesterday they went with Watch Watchpoint Gibraltar, but they mm. got stopped on that very first checkpoint. Mm. Just before reaching that second one, they got cut short. Got denied. But the other options they have are Route 66, Dorado, and Circuit Royale. You know, I would really like to see another Circuit Royale, if I'm going to be honest with you. I love Circuit Royale. I That's love a great Circuit map. Royale. Yeah, so they'll either try and watch point. Oh! oh. Um. Right. So we are in Circuit Royale. Yep, we are going into Circuit Royale. Kennesaw did not want a repeat of that Watchpoint Gibraltar from yesterday. UTD switched out Savior for Doi. That is true, yeah. Um, usually on Circuit Royale, you see some Sigma. Yep. Some Sigma Widow. Ooh, and there's Zen coming out. Zen is yeah. so big in Overwatch 2. Yeah, UT Dallas do seem to have the comp that is usually run here on Circuit Royale. Mm -hmm. With the main differences being Sigma, Widow, and Zenyatta. Although, Kennesaw probably won't stick on the Kiriko from what we've seen in the past. <laughs> they usually just like to tease us. But Clash, uh, maybe he's trolling as well. And we'll, maybe we'll see the mirror comp. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Five. Well, let's see how hard UTD holds this. Kettle may go for this jump shot here. Or just out. He's waiting for the other sniper to pop up. So it does look like Ash will stick on this uh, front track as well as the Kiriko from Two Fish. He's trying Isn't to get the get jump shot on Sigma. Not really getting it though. Ooh. And headshot on Jukebox. He's so low and almost dead. That immortality saved him right there. Break that lamp. Lamp is down. That leaves can look quite open. Actually, in a lot of damage there on that jump attack. But he does get taken out by Tosher. He has it with a sniper duel going on over here with Pedal. Sure to the dagger on the rear. Oh, Clash switching over to Ash. So. So we'll run this double sniper. Kamsky does have the uh, Matrix online, as well as Sunspire. We'll probably see those being popped out around the same time. Square being popped up. This can Sunspire. be a lot of damage for UTD. Kamsky decides not to use his, though. It's definitely forcing uh, Kennesaw to be a bit more careful on their approach. Flux with the flux onto Flash, takes him down. Square has been popped, as Jukebox is the flux the flux barely living. Over HP. He must be clenching right now. So scary. Both from UTD. Everyone from UTD is super low as Inspire is respawning at the moment. It'll bring out the sights. This all will have to play safe and Oh sights, having sights. Yep. 
he manages to force Kensal actually back. And they win the team fight here. Ooh! Taken out by Petal. Just Decent waiting to re engage, regrouping. Oh, we go once again. Another mid fight, well, mid clash. Let's see how this goes. Jukebox is discorded, so a lot of damage. He has to be very careful here. Square has been popped, as well as Bob. I don't know where Bob. Oh, there's Bob. Gets two. But he does get taken out by Petal. The Discord definitely did huge amount of damage for it. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed. Actually, I'm amazed Bob didn't do much more. I think it's because it's primarily focused on Jukebox. Yeah. And the damage is all going to him instead of all the other squishies. Yeah. Actually, going yeah, for the ambush. Only have three seconds. He does That's get spotted. You just barely managed to cut. Mm -hmm. Fox does bring out the Square being put up. Let's see if Castle can take advantage of it too. and try to get this point. Castle's looking good on their team fight. It looks like they are going to get this checkpoint. Ash from Blast. Bringing in a lot of work. Yeah, during that fight. And Kennesaw do finally manage to take that first checkpoint. This will enable them to move forward onto the high ground. Ooh, taken down. Getting shredded by Petal. Flash getting a huge pick on Tin. Lux coming in. Getting Jukebox. Jukebox somehow lives that. Hell gets two headshot kills. That pick is devastating for Kensal. He's just gonna hold them at spawn, it looks like. Hello, understood. You can't hide from me forever. Nice little opening headshot on the prototype there. We'll have to build up. We've been hunting down Cash here. Ooh, Jukebox gets taken out by Clash. I got left out alone, away from his entire team. Ooh, falling up with pedal. And is this gonna be Tinspire going down as well? Oh. Barely living, but Doi gets taken out in the process. Stay out of my Hello there. Here. <laughs> Take oh, Tinspire gets taken out. That's gonna be huge for Ken so, as they come in with the blade, taking out Doi as well. And pedal. I think Cashier's next. We'll take the next checkpoint. Bob's not two minutes on the clock. Leaving only two fish on point as Council kind of wraps around Hello. to this press is, UTD. This is a great improvement for this day for Kennesaw. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Cash is getting the pick on Cam Sky. That's gonna be huge for UCD as Kennesaw is down three players. No he almost no heals except for two fish. And he's alone. Withdrawing the barrier. Square being placed up as they suppress the fire from the top end, taking out Prototyper. Soon, pop 
possibly can. 60 seconds remaining. I never really noticed a little battlement area right there. Ooh, Pell looking just away just when Kenzen passes by. Could have gone that big. Kenzen is trying to save a tin, but not actually getting it. Oofus think getting those huge Discord damage. Last in there, actually flaming himself. Clash does have Bob. This can be very dangerous for UTD. Bob is getting thrown in. As Casher has overclock, but does get taken out by Kenzen. Was no replaced. It's good trying to get these small cheeky peeks. That's a headshot get on to Clash. Kenzen does not want to peek. Pedal at all, but it does get taken out by Casher. Casher's going in, trying to take out Prototyper. Get that tank down. Let me hear. Oh, Clash is switching over the Tracer. It does go into overtime as it does look like UT Dallas will hold off. Look at goes down to the Helix Rockets. That's Can I saw one. State get stopped short? Finishing off the map. Zero to two. Switching sides. Now they do have no time left on the clock, so if it does go into Initiate overtime, pretty much, match. we'll see how this goes. Yep. He does does have a lot of ground to make up, though. They did get very, very far. I believe they can do it. Right, so we will uh, continue to see this double sniper comp from Kennesaw. Hmm. We'll see if Doi keeps this pick. <laughs> Likely not. Hmm. I wish. <laughs> Jukebox with a Junker Queen as well? <laughs> also unlikely to actually be seen. <laughs> A little bit of troll for the casters. Yep, here we go. Five, Over four, on to the real comps. As I'm just trying to put in some damage from the side there at that corner. She's just going right on in, pushing Kensal back to the the ridge. Jukebox gets taken out so fast, he just melted. This doesn't look good for UTD, at least for this small beginning push. Ooh, Prototyper does go down to Kasha though. That's much bigger for UTD as Prototyper will have a much longer time to get to point. Ooh, Ooh that's a huge pick. Wins the Widow duel there. They no longer have to worry about the sight lines anymore. And tries to get the jump snipe. Not actually getting it, however. He gets Jukebox. met by jukeboxes. Hello. This is a very fast push from UTD. I don't think they have stopped it once. No. Just trying to get that small peak pick in. There's 10. Trying to keep Jukebox alive. It's very hardest. Oh, Tin gets inspired. That's very unfortunate for UTD. We will have to call back along with the rest of the team. But if I were to come back. No one can hide. Here comes the sights from Petal. 
Ooh, hitting the wall instead of hitting the widow. Huge flood. But it gets stunned out of it. Oh. No, getting a p getting picked on the healer, but Juke by getting taken out by Kedzen. It's not look good. Trying to keep pedal up. Should sure we'll have Get the overclock here? Bob's coming in. Probably going to try to melt Yuji's back like Look, it's shredded. Focus down that Bob. Inspire gets rocked to death. Prototyper. Almost takes the widows out as well. You're super low here. Very dangerous position. Ooh, prototyper misses his bucks on the on the Asha there. She's centimeter away. So close. But then trying to get a few picks on to I think Kasher right now. Almost getting it. So close. But Kamsky gets taken out by pedal. And this is, I think this is going to be a slow death for us all here. I don't think this fight is in their favor at the moment. Both heals are down. They do manage to take out Doi, however. CTG do take the first checkpoint here. Gosh, you're switching over to that Genji. For this next point. Does have the flux. Square being put up what? by Kennesaw, but just being pretty much ignored by UTD as Jukebox fluxes. Two fish negates that flux from Jukebox with that transcendence. Inspire keeping his team alive. Trying to get those picks in. Getting this, almost getting the widow. Almost. It does get taken out both by Kezen. Yeah, Kezen takes them too. Both CPS are down, as well as a healer. UT has to fall back. No way he gets taken out. That's going to stagger them quite a bit. Hello. finally gets stick onto Kezen. Says enough is enough. He does have walls, however. As Kippy is just. Shinsky gets stunned and shot down. Prototyper does get two. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that was a very clean kill. Nice shot on Kazan. He seems to be struggling a bit at this little corner. Prototype looking for that kill on pedal, but not getting it. And getting onto this high ground, but Since Fire gets two picks. He does have square up. That damage is huge for him. Since Fire gets three, the third being Bob. <laughs> oh no, not Bob. That looks like a great team fight from UT Dallas there. With a lot of help from Since Fire. <laughs> that square was huge for that fight. Now, Kasher does have Blade here. We'll see if he uses it or if he uses it for the next push. Ooh, especially with Flux ready. Here comes the Flux. Oh, misses Ooh, the Flux, misses. though. As Kenzo pops three ults here, Kasher coming in with the Blade, trying to take out Kenzo, actually doing it. Tries to poke down the tank. Ooh, two picks from Petal. Oh. Petal and Tinspire doing all the work that fight. <laughs> oh, he's switching over to Kinniko. <laughs> this 
think this time he's actually gonna use it. Mm. I, I hope. He's at 27% full charge. Because it doesn't get out of my cash here, however. dashes through Kezin. So getting, trying to get that pick off. Almost getting Pro Diaper. Getting down the half. No one can hide from my sight. It'll pop the side. So force Kennesaw to play safe. Flash, I think, manages to get the dynamite on on the jukebox, it looks like. Ooh. Taking the bike pedal. Oh, coming into form. That <laughs> brings out Matrix. Huge damage coming from EC, oh, but just gets flux and denied by two fish. They force a retreat. They have to touch point. UTD has to touch. But I don't think they have anybody to do it. Nope. And this is and Kennesaw. That will be a round going to Kennesaw. And it is now one to one in this series. Indeed. Next will be a push map. Play of the game. Yeah, that, that blade was really big. Mm -hmm. So the next map will be a push map, mm -hmm. which is the new Overwatch 2 mode that they just added. Uh, the choices are Toronto. Yep, choices are Toronto, uh, Rome, Esperanza. Ooh, I want to see some Esperanza. Mm -hmm. Esperanza is always really fun to play. I, I, that's, I think... I won't say it's my favorite. I think New Queen Street would be mine, but. Okay, well, it will be going to New Queen Street. Unfortunately, no Esperanza. <laughs> hey, it's still my favorite map. Good for you. <laughs> There's a lot of. It's very easy to get back into the fight in, in New Queen Street. So Savior will be coming back in for Doi. Well, we've just seen a lot of New Queen Street. That's why I want to True. see something different. A little bit of variety. Yep. So we will be going into the game here fairly soon. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully there's no more delays. Yeah. All right, going in. Dinosaur. Oh, dinosaur. I have dinosaur earrings on. They're not T-Rexes, though. Tragic. I know. All right, let's see what each team pulls out. Looks like we will have a mirror, a mirror cop on either again. sides. Look at this aria. A nice, beautiful view of Toronto in the future. I've never been to Toronto. I've been to Montreal, though. Hmm. I've what? never been to. What is? What's the Canada? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So coming out of the gates, this team is gonna race to this uh, middle section where the statue is. Both clashing at the same space. Seems like the same golden rind. Ooh, but Pedal gets Pedal taken gets, out. Pedal goes down early to the disruptor field from Kazin. This is going to be very painful for UTD as they're being forced back. I think yep. Savory gets booped off. And then Jukebox goes down as well. Yeah, Kennesaw are definitely trying to uh, get back at UT Dallas for yesterday. No prisoners. They are not gonna go down without a fight. Push 
which is a very big snowball map. Oh, snowball game mode, I would say. Let's take down Kamski. And I think Protyper is also going to go down. That's going to be huge for UCD as they just clean up house now that the tank is gone. Tracking there onto that Lucio. Good to they were just trying to make room here if they ever push through. Let's make some progress. Yes, I'll already in. Grab and square being put in. A huge grab. Although Tash does bring out the blade. It's two. So much value out of that. This fight is anyone's game. They're great from either side. Kessel has been getting much more value out of their. Somehow, UTD is managing to keep in the fight. Here comes the Matrix from Kinspire. And in that kill extra damage, responded with Beast to Fish. We're seeing Kessel just go into a brawl right here. Overclock from Hell gets one. Gets two. There was a little bit of a delay there too, with Prototype being out way later than the rest of his team. As in, will come back into this fight with the Overclock. We'll see how he plans to use it. Kesher does have Blade, however. See if he can make some work with that. Ooh, just before the line, they get switched over. Ooh, but it gets grabbed. Does get grabbed. He managed to get out of it and get a Ooh. two kit, uh, get a pick off of it as well. This will be the bot back on UT Dallas' side. See, managing to keep it quite consistently on Kessel's side. Even if they lose the bot, it's never gonna, it's not gonna go to there. UT Dallas does take the lead here. It seems they're gonna they get the checkpoint as well. Checkpoint. Brings out the overclock. Hook gets grabbed. Taken down by Jukebox. Flash does get a pick on pedal. Both DPS on UTD side are gone, as well as a healer. This can be huge for you for Kennesaw. This is a very scrapping fight. Could go either way. I think it is only tank and healer. This is the fight. But it looks like UTD comes out on top. Now do manage to hold on. Looks like they're gonna get checkpoint as well. Onto Savior. You're with me. Posh, posh and pedal falling really low. Just dash through. He's doing his best to keep his team alive with those bubbles. The box. His charge is real high. It will be his damage. Ooh, gets melted by Prototyper. Dallas, do you have four ults online? Flash, almost losing a fight to Tinspire. Let them out. Comes the Matrix from Tinspire. This is gonna force Cancel to back up and reevaluate. You get the cat bot back on their side. Guess a wraps around. It just begins to brawl it out with a few uh, supports from UTD. Ooh, grab. No, on to do this. That was huge for UTD. Yeah, they just keep pickings. 
Good to see you. Wicked. Hey. Oh, it's going Move in the barricade. This all is about to have all five ults online, though. Gals did get that check checkpoint, so they will have four response now. Here comes two of Kenneth's ults out. Beat meant to come in from the ult well. usage from both sides. But I think just Kenneth has more ults and it's definitely using that to their advantage. I think four was popped. Easy was just overwhelmed. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, it's late. Doubled. That was a quick fight out of the TV. That late pick on Kezin. See, it's very hard to get the bot back to the other side, as you can tell. Even when you win the team fight, you have three other team fights to go right after before you actually get to push the barricade. This is going to be very rough for Kansas State to even contest ETD's advantage here. I think he's being forced into the stairs. Square being put up. Hash tries to dash through, but gets taken out by pedal. UTD mit somehow managed to bring that fight back, actually. They were almost gone. Done deal to me earlier, but they proved me wrong. Dallas almost at the end of New Queen Street here. Oh, here get comes the play that gets cancelled by Tinspire. Okay. All that's left is Azaria. Yeah. And the, and the, the tracer. tracer. Trying to stall. That looks like that's and it. And Dallas will finish out New Queen Street. Play of the game. Crash with big blades. I mean, Clash definitely had a lot of huge plays that went down it, for Kenestal's side. The next map will be a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will see some uh, King's Row. I know King's Row is a uh, fan favorite and just a year favorite yeah. overall. We also got Eichenwald in Midtown. Midtown is one of the new maps. Maybe we can see that. Eichenwald is also pretty fun. I think Eichenwald is one I'm hoping for the most right now. But Midtown would be good too. Yeah. I just don't want to see King's Row because I've seen it so many times. That is true, but it's like really fun to watch. Yeah. It is the standard. The gold standard for hybrid on, in Overwatch. So we will be waiting to go in. It is. It'll be Eichenwald. Ah, fun. Love to see it. We'll see how yeah, this we just goes. Just got a week to uh, put in. Oh, my little minus weight bands. There they are. The fight in the German castle. Mm -hmm. There we go. I haven't seen this map in a while. <laughs> it looks. Beautiful with these new shaders. 
a lot more greener than it I is, remember. Yeah, that's honest. the first thing I noticed. It's so green, and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> it felt less. Br I remember it being much more grayish. It was very dull in colors. Dang, this is so much more vibrant. Alright, so Ash will go back to this Ash pick, which did seem to get a lot of value last time we saw it. Ooh, an Ash Genji. Hmm. The only thing different here is the Ash and the Sojourn. Yeah. I'm very happy that Tin Spire was popping off in the past few games. Absolutely. Especially as a Baptiste. Gotta love that Baptiste. Mm -hmm. That's my support team. Five, so much healing, four, so much damage. Three, two, one. As long as you can hit your shots. <laughs> yep. Objective A. You're just going for a standard nice. hold here. And it's uh, running in. Some nice picks from Flash there. No deaths. Very good headshots. Looks like just going in to brawl it out with the entirety of Kennesaw's team. Who will emerge victorious? Both the models are down. Both have been popped. And Savory goes down first. Ooh. Who's going to be next? My bet Inspired. is on to to keep his team alive. Oh, Cat. There Gamsky goes are no Baptiste for either side. Both sides, Genji's getting the kills as well. The kills are Evan. gone. Putting in the work. This kind of saw will take the payload. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. I sure poking a little bit. In the coming in for the fight, trying to take out uh, Petal. Not getting, however. And it's not being forced out of the castle. Immortality immediately taken out by Tin. You see, he still has their mortal up at the ready. Tensing gets taken out by Casher. Rolls in on in. Two Kennesaw spawn. This is very aggressive for UTD. They're up in their face. Just trying to melt. This end. It's definitely it out the overclock. Ooh, Blade coming in to meet Met Petal. Blade. He managed to escape, but. Ooh, Blade from either side. Both getting two. Ash gets two headshot kills. That will be another fight win for Kennesaw, enabling them to move Hello. this payload. UTD right. definitely lost a lot more in that fight as well. Two ults were popped on UTD side. But they do still have the grab and the matrix. Ash mm, gets trapped. Like using oh, the grab here. Grab. Savior barely it. surviving. Oh. Alright. Savior just climbing out of the abyss. To do a little bit of Lucio damage. Hello, dancing. Ash has the mob online. Maybe he send it through the window from FPS. UTD both has square and uh, beat Bob. Bob gets no value for Kennesaw. He's still holding the high ground. This is a bit, a bit more nervous about their push here. Blade coming Ooh, in. This can be huge for UTD. 
Taking out two fish. Uh, in the tight room, too. Just dashes through everybody. Damage. I think that was a almost team kill. Kezin's the only one left. And he will be taken out. Here. This is going to delay them quite a bit. I was losing so much time here. It's not look good. This cashier's looking for maybe a little cheeky peek here. We got some squishies. Kenzo will have this blade up. That is huge for Kenzo. The kick out tins fire immediately. And then pedal goes down as well. I wonder if GT will be able to keep this up. Save it goes down. Looks like Kenzo takes the payload. Let's see, which Kenzo out. What? It's Ash gets taken down by Blade does deny it, however. Not, but not before you can get some value out of it. Now, Cashier, I mean, Clash does have his ult almost ready. Tins by popping square, but not really using it at all. There's no real need for it. That was Orb. Or saying Cashier has to pull back a little bit. I only have 15 seconds to get back onto this point. Can Kennesaw make it? They seem to be a bit distracted by the fight. Not even... The Genji didn't even push to the point. Somebody made it, however. I think it was the... Oh, it is two fish. He should did manage to make it. It looks like Yuji is going to win this fight. Kasher and Jukov just deleting the entirety of Kennesaw State there. Stop just outside of the checkpoint. Score zero to one. Switching sides. He held very fiercely in that fight. We'll see if they can do so. But let's see if Kansas can do the same. So there's a lot of the map that I just don't explore, which it's yeah. really nice to see like the little Easter eggs, little mm -hmm. little secrets and stuff, like that fire uh, fire sword. Yeah, reminded me of Dark Souls right there. Riding up the tower, just having a having a grand old time. I wish you could go to the very top. But uh, alas, there is the Here we go. Five, four, two fish three, is keeping watch two, from above. Getting a few pick, a few poke damage in. Dallas just running straight in. No fear. Cousin does dash through Finn's fire. Too. He pushed in with no fear, but Kevin gave them a reason to feel fear as he just takes out took out both a healer and a DPS in like the first second of the fight.
going in from above. I'm trying to get a few. Trying to wrap around with team. Ooh, Tinsberg got isolated from the rest of his team and she got blasted. Dukebox trying Dukebox to melt has the room. a lot of energy there. Super low. Prototyper takes himself out with that right click. Somehow Jukebox lives. Yep. And all that's left is Clash. This will allow UG Dallas to move forward onto this point. I think Kansas will have time to contest, even if minorly. They do, though. They have to get on right now. Ooh, big grab. Square being popped up with the Ash using that square, but not really getting any value out of it. Dallas will take the payload. Blade coming in from Kenzen. Let's see if he gets any value out of it. He takes out Savior. That's huge. is now pushing UTD back to spawn, holding them there. They do have Bob at the ready as well. Can get very dangerous. He does have four ults at the ready. Blade has been popped. Bob just, Bob just run both. off the map? Bob runs off the map. Oh no, but both grab and uh and beat have been used Kenso, up. Kenso have no ults online and GT Dallas just wipes them out. A clash in the <laughs> chat. Oh, Bob. Bob, Bob no. Yeah, so definitely lost a lot in that fight. They used three ults there. Didn't even pause for a little bit of time. Yeah, you guys only had to use two, and they still have three online. Oh, huge amplification matrix. Helping that railgun shot. Shoot with the railgun? Pretty much the one shot here. Another team wipe from UT Dallas. I think there's gonna be one more fight left. We just have to cross the bridge. And so I was going to need to contest. Ooh, Ooh, that grab is huge! But to shreds through Kezen. Saving Tin Spire. Pedal mm. almost getting the pick. Oh. Oh. The only one left alive. That's it for Dallas. And 3 0. 3 to 1 against Kennesaw. <laughs> Kennesaw did better than they did yesterday. Mm. They, they got a point. They got a point. They definitely fought very hard. Play the game. Uh, oh, I yes. to see it. Love to see the Baptiste play the game. Someone has to be. All right. So, All right. Uh, the next match will be decided based off of who wins that one. Yes. Which is who, whoever wins. Whoever wins. We it. end up going up against, but we beat Kennesaw uh, three to one. And yesterday, mm -hmm. three to zero. And actually, the both teams that we may or may not go get, go against, we've actually already beat them before. Yeah, we have beat both of the teams that we are soon to go up against. Ah, uh, is the, the teams will be either UF Orange or Converse University? Yep. Converse, we did go against yesterday, mm -hmm. and also be in a three zero fashion. Yeah. So we will see how this goes. So we will. Uh, Go against the winner of UF Orange or Converse University. Um, we will see you then.
We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic, do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Money grows from my intuition I just bought a crib, that's my first edition People hate it when you claim a vision But I use a static when I hit ignition Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition Forge heat, no matter where I've been And give me any place and it'll be a kitchen This how we flow to the top I'm on a wave and it never gonna stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I still block your shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain in the flow, ink block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and the star you got We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have it, you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic, do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing this like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see, but I ain't feel the stress. I know it's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Make a move to make the money taller to the cash topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I'm aware they call it with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession, I have it, you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic, do it all. I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw. I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl. They wanna talk when you're back to the wall. So I say later, my ain't moving small. I'm sick of fighting the things that you said I don't want to burn all our bridges ahead I'm tired of going to bed when you left me on red Just to turn up the noise in my head I told you that one day ain't never enough You tell me I hate you, I still call you up If we don't got trust, we can never wrap love I was putting in the hours, 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 hours I was you were calling me a liar, 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 liar. Yeah, I've been putting in the hours, 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 hours. And it's coming down and now, and now, and now, and now, and never. I was putting in the... Put it in. 
Shadow, I found a place to hide me from my own thoughts. And if I ever got lost, you find a way to bring me home. And I, I want something I can hold. That's what this way to go. And I,
We on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, I have you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Money grows from my intuition I just bought a crib, that's my first edition People hate it when you claim a vision But I use a static when I hit ignition Hungry moves, I'm faster in a minute I stay fresh to death, I'm in a mint condition Forge heat, no matter where I've been And give me any place and it'll be a kitchen This how we flow to the top I'm on a wave and it never gon' stop I hit a three, now we running the clock 24 seconds, I step like a shot I'm making this an eternal spot Permanent stain in the floating block Don't step to me when I get too hot I'ma end your life and it's all you got on the top and we ain't gonna fall This an obsession, a habit you call We hitting automatic, never stall Only got one tactic to do it all I'm from the bottom, I hate what I saw I couldn't walk, so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later, my ain't moving small Homemade flow, I'm a PVC. There ain't one player out doing just like me. Heart rate froze, check the EKG. I hate wasting time, no eventually. Routine work when nobody see it, but I ain't feel the stress, I know it's meant to be. 30 beats, I'm on a killing spree. I made every song in my discography. Yeah, that's every cent, every dollar. I ain't trying to listen to a broke scholar. Make a move to make the money taller to the cash topping on the Eiffel Tower. Labels calling, I'm aware they call it with my own drive. I can take it farther. Do it myself, don't ever bother. Been self made now, shout out to my father. We on the top and we ain't gonna fall. This an obsession, a habit you call. We hitting automatic, never stall. Only got one tactic to do it all. I'm from the bottom. I hate what I saw I couldn't walk so I learned how to crawl They wanna talk when you're back to the wall So I say later my ain't moving small
too far to say that we cannot pretend now was it never enough to have just everything you want in your shadow i found a place to hide me from my own thoughts and if i ever got lost to find the way to bring me
for so long Oh, I am in your head So tell me, is it wrong? Welcome to the CECC Grand Finals. Today we are up against uh, Converse. Converse, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Grand Finals. I mean, and we beat them yesterday, so yes. hopefully we can repeat that and win. Now, Converse did win last game uh, with a reverse sweep, mm-hmm. coming back from nothing. So let's see how they do. We're starting on Oasis. Mm. Now we we have seen, at least from earlier, UTD has been going very strong, but Converse is actually uh, in the previous game that they have done. They came out of nowhere, and was a surprise to everyone how they just shot up from from two to zero to two three. Oh, you think my muscles are pretty? 
Pretty weak. We did see Converse yesterday, so they will have Garchomp on that on that jump pad, as he did yesterday. I think we got Hosher on that Sombra. Ooh. Hello. Five. Hey. Four. Three. Hello. Two. Oh, switching Hosher over to Symmetra. Doing that actually. Quick Symmetra TP. Real quick. Gets a point clicker. Hello. In my world. We get Sombra in. No you see, pushing to the side very fast. Completely. Both teams completely missing each other. It's going the opposite direction. Converse wrapping around. Actually going from UTD's side. Uh, Quixie does get hacked, however, by Casher. That can be very dangerous for a Converse. Uh, has not gotten punished quite yet. Mm -hmm. UTD does manage, however, to push Converse out of point. Uh, Again, right back the point first. But they do lose Jukebox, which is going to be huge for Converse as they just begin to steamroll through UTD as their anchor is gone. And all that's left is Savior. Or not. That's going to delay them quite a bit. That was so late compared to everybody else. But Savior can definitely get there much faster than anyone, so it should be alright. Holding UTD at that choke. Decide to fall back onto the point while UT Dallas pushes in. Cross getting a bit of charge. Now, Drew Bikes needs to be a little bit more cautious here. Just yep. because oh, Savior is down. down. That's a lot of healing gone for UT Dallas. And with Coalescence coming in, there's so much healing on Converse side and so much damage as well as they just roll through. Congress are back with a vengeance. Either. Not make the same mistakes from yesterday. Both Inspire and Petal have their role, as well as Jukebox. Can be coming up. Ooh, coming hammer. Up. Ooh. The overclock on the Savior. Ooh, he does go low. Yes. Yeah. Manages to escape. The Cashier looking for that EMP. Both Jukebox and Petal popping their ult. Jukebox, I don't think, getting anybody. However, oh, that's a huge getting, two. Getting, getting both the supports oh. on the side of Converse. That's huge for UTD. Tyre went in, but got nobody as Pelor just guns it down. As UTD begins to clean up point. And the only ult uh, Converse have for this next fight is that uh, Arisa ult. Not even halfway for the other ultimate. Now UTD does have EMP. EMP is popped on the quick. Quick does pop his ult, however. Get Savior! Cashier's also down right now. This is not looking good for UTD. Oh, quick... just barely saved there with that bubble from the box. It does eventually go down now, unfortunately. And it looks like it's just time to clean up. Oh, Savior coming back just to stall a little longer. This is a much different Converse from yesterday. Absolutely. They're getting so much value out of their ults, doing so much damage. And they're getting those key picks off very early in the each fight. Asher goes around trying to scope out the, the competition. Hack, gets a hack on the hammer. Savior brings out the B. Now, Inspired both Savior... that ultimate. Savior goes down to the coalescence from Orion, though. All of UTD is super low here. Ults. Two All ults are pops. Nobody manages to touch the point from UT oh. Dallas. I think they're too busy trying to be alive. Yeah. Score. I'm going to start up 1-0 on Oasis now. Ready for battle. The best laid plans have backup plans. Now we'll see a cashier, I think, possibly going to Echo. Oh, nope, back to oh, making the decision here. Another mission. Man, but we will see so a pretty intense fight over at point in this, considering, well, this is a very brawly area as well. This point is much more brawly than the other one. Uh, okay. 
Oh, just getting that poke damage in. Getting him, getting that, uh, that Sojourn bubble thing. Yeah, just trying to poke some damage in. Also, we're looking to get that ult uh, off in transformation. Get that other ult. Ooh! Dude, by being taken out by Crickly so early in the fight. UTD does not have that sustain as they slowly get picked off one by one by Converse. Ooh, Tinspire switching over to Ana. Oh, Savior's Savior Mercy. Mercy. You fucks on the Diva. Dude, Diva's really good right now. So they will be doing this Car Mercy comp. Mm -hmm. Full on dive. Let's see it happen. Ooh. That's not gonna look good. It's gonna delay UTD the Salt. Coalesce is popping on from Converse. Orion getting some big heals and big damage on together. Taking out Tinspire. Ooh, actually still getting the kill, though. But yeah, Petal. Petal does get two. With that railgun. Mm -hmm. Kasha brings out the barrage and gets quick C. I think UTD can start rolling through now as the tank is gone. They no longer have to stay. Now that poor, poor Junkrat stuck in that small little room. That's a leap stagger on him. I was just trying to get that charge up real quick. Okay, four ultimates online. Along with Conjure. Ooh. And this next fight will just come down to the better ult economy. We do have Nan- the UTD does have Nano, however. That can be a game changer. Nano being popped on the cash here. All right, with those support ults come out. This part goes down to the mine though. Didn't seem to get much value out of the Nano. Higher, gets Tire, nothing. Gets nothing either. Self destruct going in, catching nobody, but pushing people off point. So not, neither, no, no ults value from either side. No value from any <laughs> ult. <laughs> I guess maybe the mercy ult. Probably the most consistent out of all of it. Yeah, it just it's a lot of healing. Yep. Line, Ooh, yeah. but Kashi gets taken up a hammer. That's gonna push Converse back. Dallas turning the tides in their favor. Kashi gets revived by Savior. Kashi does have barrage. Once again, that was actually Once really again, fast. That was, that was a really fast build up. That was insane. That's insane. Did they just used that. Looking for that barrage too. That early pick on the Garchomp. Oh, that's not looking good for Converse. Coalescence from Converse coming in. Uh, no, I think a bit early. Here comes the barrage, but it gets oh. denied by Hammer on that Cassidy. Mm. So they went Cassidy and uh, Soldier 76 to just contest this Car Mercy comp. And pick them out of the, the sky. The damage is going to be quite large here. Goes over to Jukebox all alone. He's gonna get taken out. And he gets uh, nanoed with that overclock. Oh, mine. Does get two. Savior is ulted, so it's gonna be pretty hard to kill UT Dallas right now. There comes the B. Just trying to keep this team alive on this point. Ooh, gets railed gun. <laughs> Now this doesn't and look. There we go. Huh? I, he does he... not step back onto the point in time. Point and UT Dallas will take the second round of Oasis. That was very close. Yes. Now we're neck and neck. Let's see how this turns out. Will there be any uh, composition changes? Is what I am. Okay, Kasha back on that Sombra, or maybe back on that Kara. Sticking with the Far Mercy. Archump going back to the. The junk rat signature. It's hard seems. to keep you alive when you're distracted. Hey. 
Hammer will stay on this Cassidy though, just in case. We'll find out. I mean, this Cassidy is going to be... They really need the Cassidy for this. So. Yes. Cassidy already taking damage. Oh, from himself. Never mind. Yeah. Get that charge up a little bit earlier. As Josh um, goes on in. Trying to get some hits off. Jukebox gets stunned. That can be very bad for him. However, he does manage to escape. Yeah. Uh, Jukebox. Barely being kept alive by Tinspire. Ooh, Pedal gets taken out by Garchomp. The mine. It's a lot of damage gone. Sure, she can poke a little bit. That damage boost. Getting close to his ultimate. Long Tinspire as well. But Hammer is 80% to his Deadeye, which can be very, very dangerous for you to deal with. But with D.Va, it should be alright. Now Fire Barrage is ready, as well as Nano. Ooh, Nano Faro coming in. Let's see how that comes out. Nomad is Need to be very cautious here. He does Hammer stick. Goes down, he, but but he, he does, does stick. The, yeah. Get that made onto Kasha. But it looks like Kutsi is about to. Die. Oh, he gets saved by. By old oh, oh, Will Connors be able to, be able to turn does fight have around? This mercy pocket. Arista just is very hard to kill. So they managed to get with the anti. Without the anti, they probably would not have killed. Um, the Rissa at all. That's a team kill. Uh, no. UT Dallas will flip the point. That's huge. Converse does have 64%. Uh, Quixie also having the ult coming in soon as well at 80. But Nano soon as well. Might seems to be looking for a few picks here. Possibly an opportunity to use his dead eye. Sure. Okay. Missing the grenade, but forcing Jukebox to back up as the entire team comes to reinforce. We're still yet to use his dead eye, though. Mm hmm. Right timing. Now, there's been a lot of use of this nano. This is getting it very, very quickly. High Noon coming in. Let's see if it actually gets any off. Doesn't appear so. Might get the far. Ooh, no. no. Get out, play it safe and out of sight from that dead eye. I'm gonna get the nade kill on a guard oh. chomp. Did you guys have four of their ults online? Converse is still building up some of their ults. They're getting close. But they're, they're not quite there yet. They will soon have four, however. Just a matter of time. Hammer switching over to Echo. I think, is this just going to be a sky battle, it seems? You can test the skies. Cashier's just being a deadly nuisance to Converse right now. Right now. Coalesce is coming on in. Ooh, Ooh. gets nano Nano and barrage. barrage. Getting nobody, however. Ooh. Ooh, Tinspire are getting uh, forced pushed out off the like high you. ground. Nice. Now, Jukebox does have self destruct. It's not a good position here. Self destruct. It so he can get his neck back. Oh, no. It didn't go off. It didn't, go, it didn't use the self destruct. It just decided to do a reset. Probably, actually, that was probably the better choice there, if I'm going to be honest. If they managed to get out, it would have been done. And definitely, Orisa can just survive. Just tank through uh, self destruct. Safer so does have a pop, is popping Valkyrie. Keeping the team alive. Ooh! Dallas managed to flip this point, which is likely that they will since they got that opening. We got two picks. Two huge picks. 
both heals. Three railgun shots. Oh. Jesus Christ. Pedal is popping off. Pedal. Self destruct just for good measure. Go oh! Out, go out with a bang. Lucio almost made it there at the very end. But they don't. UT Dallas goes up 1 0. Uh, why does the head. Play of, the game. of course, it's gotta be this ending here. <laughs> See how this went. Boom. Plus, he does have that mercy pocket. It's giving him good damage. Cleans up house. That is map one going to the side of UT Dallas. Indeed, indeed, indeed. The next map will be a escort map? Yes. It will be escort map. We will see what they pick, however. It could be New York. It could be, uh, which, well, what's the other ones actually? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> but, oh, escort map. It could be Circuit Royale, it could be Gibraltar. It could be Gibraltar or Route 66. I kinda wanna see Gibraltar. We haven't seen a lot of Gibraltar We haven't seen Gibraltar yet. recently, actually. Yeah, you're right there. Right. Yeah, I'd either wanna see Dorado or like, watch my Gibraltar, but <laughs> something tells me it's going to be good. Yeah. It is Circuit Royale. Royale. All right. Why am I not? <laughs> I called it. Ah. Yeah, so now we're just gonna be waiting to get put in. Mm. We should be going in here in just a minute. But. Oh, maybe not. It might not be Circuit Royale. Oh, they haven't picked yet. However. It was a prediction from yes. our. However. Converse have been put up way more of a fight this time than, oh, than uh, yesterday. They are doing so much better. Yeah, they definitely came back stronger than ever trying to get revenge for mm -hmm. that 3 0 from yesterday. They definitely dominated one of the points. One they completely dominated. It was yeah. honestly very rough for you to be on. Uh, which Oasis map was it? It was the first one. Was this the first one? Mm. I believe so. But we will see how they do. Um, I guess we'll just see you uh, later when we go into the game. Well, we're coming into Route 66. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw the funniest comment. Xander, apparently somebody uh, thinks you, you're bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Damn. It's shoddy bad. Uh, but here we go with Saver going in with the Kiriko. Going into Route 66 here. Ooh, we Ooh. will see 
we may see Savior on this Kiriko. They have known to kind of troll us with that pick. And there yeah, we go. Yep. <laughs> the jukebox is going to stay on this Diva. Ooh, and Quixie on this Reinhardt. These are some very interesting compositions. I mean, Diva's really good in Overwatch 2 right now. Still. Absolutely. But we typically see Jukebox on that Zarya a lot. Yeah. We do have Petal on the Ash rather than that Widow. Oh. But Hammer's coming out with the Widow. So it might get a bit difficult here. Especially for Cashier. We'll see how this plays out. Ray Wall coming right on up. Hammer actually switching over to Sojourn instead of Widow. Our jump onto that Cassie. Looks like they will be doing some composition changes here. She also goes over to that uh, Diva. See Garchomp trying to get a few hits on the Cashier, trying to take him out of the sky. Yeah, but Jukebox does take down Orion. That's a lot of healing and damage gone yes. to the side of Converse. Quickly just dropping right on in. But being forced Petal back. Trying to get some picks in there, some damage into Converse. Jin Spider getting super low, almost getting taken out. As Quixie's actually anti'd right now, it's not looking good. He does get healed back up. Hell does have 80% on the Bob. It will soon come on out. Cashier as well. Booster kill on to Garchomp though. Quixie just trying to every day. back to high ground. Jukebox is nanoed by Tinspire. That's a lot of damage. Damn a lot of damage in. And Petal does take out that. Hammer. Petal, dude, there you Petal. go. Almost killing Kiwi. Yep. He does have this key. We'll see how they succeed. Will open with, uh, or they may wait for, uh, Coalesces and Bob are popped right now, as well as Delta Strike getting Savior, oddly enough. Interesting. Okay, Bob, Bob does hammer. get hammer. But it definitely looks like Converse sighted at the moment, as Oh, Kasha kills himself kills with the barrage. Bob. But he does get Garchomp, at least it's somebody. Yeah. A lot of ults coming out on either side. This goes back to the Sombra. Mm -hmm. This definitely was not good for UTD at the beginning because Savior was out like the, the beginning of the fight with that self destruct, oddly enough. But UTD are managing to contest at the moment. Guard Shop just DMX then finishes him off. Now, Pell just trying to stall for a little bit more time. But it does look like Converse will take the first the checkpoint. Three and a half minutes on the clock. Save so switching over to Lucio instead of Pedal on this tracer. Mm -hmm. Not something you see every day. He's probably going to try to get bomb, stick, and then switch. Yeah. Now, Hammer does almost have Blade here. Quixie does get hacked. Uh, can be bad for them. However,. Uh, Ooh. Hammer makes some space Hammer for it. Hammer gets hacked. Mm. Mm. Low, but just finish off. That was very scary Here for Hammer. Hammer going to try to take out Tinspire, it looks like. Uh, by succeeding, uh, Orion also taking out Savior. Does not look good for UTD. They do manage to D-mech Quixie, however. Pulse Bomb does not get any value, unfortunately, from Petal there. This is going to be a forced reset for UTD. They don't have enough damage or sustain. Okay, here we test. go. Jukebox is swapping over to his signature Zarya pick. Preparing your cellular makeup. Ryan does have this coalescence online. Archon does get hacked. Oh, has been popped by Orion. And takes out Petal. Oh! Also the self-destruct coming in. It doesn't seem to get anybody, however. Okay. Oh no, it wasn't self-destruct. It was a, it was a remake. Uh, okay, 
here comes here comes the self destruct. Gets nothing. Mm. Rush, I'm trying to stick jukebox, but fit, but missing as well as being bubbled. It was not look good for him. UG Dallas are managing to hold on to this point. He's doing well. Almost off again. Pedal does almost have bomb. He has his pulse bomb. Converse have no ults online. They're not even close to some of them. Just past half. Oh, Hammer goes over to the Reaper. Garchomp onto that Sojourn as well. That is a very interesting pick. I'm just curious if they'll be able to get much value out of the Reaper here. That's a huge grab for Ooh. Jukebox. A huge grab, but no one really to, you know, take the opportunity and use that. I believe the only one who could actually really use that uh, grab would be the would be the uh, Moira. I'm be really honest with you there. Converse, do you get this next checkpoint? Pedal having a duel with Garchomp right now. This buyer does have coalescence as well as Orion. Spire actually popping it. Getting heals off right now. That's a little some damage in. Saber does have beat. Oh, Garchomp was taken out. He's gonna delay Converse for a little bit. He's switching over the Junkrat, however. Going back to what I believe to be his more familiar. Metal really needs to swap off this base here. He's not getting a lot of value on it. Probably just try to use his full bomb defense. Okay, Dallas falling back. Getting pushed by Converse. Converse is fiercely pushing. Look at this. He does manage to. No. There we go. There we go. I thought he did, but. Okay. Oh, there we Never go. Never mind. Maybe he doesn't need to swap off the Tracer. He's popping off. He just got three. All that's left is the Reaper. He does get bubbled. But there's the Death Blossom also getting three. UTD does have one less fight in them. However, still have a minute left on this clock. But it definitely looks like UTD might be able to make it back. Oh! Out of nowhere, it gets mine. I don't even know where he was. I quickly just... Taking the high ground from UTD, but Pedal just does not care. Oh, big grab on the Garchomp. Good, him off. good immortality. Jukebox was about to die there. Getting a huge shatter. The Converse does have tire. Tire is coming in. This can change the tide. Going over to that widow. Oh, oh that tire, tire. Garchomp. That is surely to help them finish yep. the map. There we go. Four With seconds four seconds left. on the clock. Very close. But that tire definitely sealed the deal there. To three, switching sides. Now we'll see how UTD does on attack. Like, we'll go back to this Far Mercy comp for mm. UT Dallas. And Converse U is pretty much staying the same as they left off. UTD has been relatively good on just being a, playing very aggressively, mm -hmm. getting that huge damage, and pretty much pushing and making that space. Right. We'll see if they'll be able to do that here. Now, this question what will Petal pick? He has yet to make up his mind. Now, once again, oh, Quixie taking the high ground in the middle cart. Yep. 
shown yesterday, he, he did exactly this as well. Quite aggressive for a Ryan. Especially on defense. Now they're getting forced back onto the ground. Seeing the Ryan switching over to Sojourn instead of playing Hanzo here. Probably a good idea. Gosh, your damage boosted. Trying to get some hits in. Seems to be missing. Almost gets taken out by Nomad. Pedal almost getting taken out as well. Ooh. Damage. From the side, that damage was huge. Okay, Jukebox going back onto the D.Va. I think Jukebox just wants to take that high ground away from them. Test with the high ground of his own. Ryan doing his best to keep his team alive. That's why I'm trying desperately to keep his team alive. As in the distance, you see the mercy slowly whittle down. Ooh! Ooh. And he takes down the far mercy comp with that dead eye. Yes. And sticks pedal! Garchomp just finishing the deal. Pun versus holding this first point. Well, on quite fiercely. Yeah, usually Dallas are gonna have to try and find an answer to this. They do have three ults, almost all five online. Pun versus dealing very well with this Far Mercy combo, having no issues with it at all. All right, still Kiwi goes down. Cashier, you see, he does have almost all five volts on the board. Barraging, mm. but gets taken out by Hammer. Yeah. Hammer Bar just gets in. Still in his neck. Takes down Orion. You like D Mike and gets take is gonna get taken out like by Cooksey, I think. Bomb and then he lives. Oh, never mind. Pistol kill onto Hammer. This is a great opening for Beauty Dallas to be able yes. to push this card up. I feel like Hammer is being the MVP of this rat match, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. He has been popping off like crazy here. Mm hmm Asher going over to Hanzo, so they go off of that Far Mercy comp. Onto the Shimada brothers. Far Mercy comp was definitely not working, especially with Hammer. Yeah, with Hammer contesting. Ooh, okay, Nanoblade, Nanoblade coming on in! Fucking like shattered! Zero value out of both ults there. Mm -hmm. Asher does take down Star Chomp and Hammer them. And I think this is now when it's time for UTD to make their sweep. Or at least their team kill. They can't they just can't seem to get those healers dead. Slowly forcing the tanks out. Oh there goes the shield. There's the shield. Ryan managing the pin jukebox, but there's so much more he needs to worry about. All that damage coming in from UTD. Jukebox barely makes it. No, he does not. The jukebox is now DMAC. Damage dealing over to Hammer, almost killing Hammer. Saber does pop Valkyrie. This team alive. And Dragon. Everybody just falling on the side of UV Dallas. With no time remaining, it goes into overtime. This doesn't look good for UTD, as Absolutely. three people die here. I don't think they have anyone who can touch, and that seems to be game. That is a one to one in this match. Converse with a dominant showing there on uh, Route 66. Play of the game. Oh, this was. I, I think it this was, was a tire. tire. This was the tire. Yep. Where's the other If I'm be honest, I was hoping to see hammers uh, pop off. Yeah. But the tire was big for for Converse. Absolutely. Yeah, a very different showing than the Converse we saw yesterday, or even in that last map. Mm-hmm. Just completely dominant.
uh, first point held UT Dallas, which is uh, not done a lot against our team. <laughs> Converse is not going down without a fight. They will. They are willing to pretty much pull all the stops to push UTD back and get their vengeance for their defeat yesterday. All right. Uh, UT Dallas will have to find the uh, right uh, answer to this composition. And it seems that the next map will be the push map Toronto. Oh. Something we uh, see quite often. Now, once again, push maps are very much a snowball-y game mode. So whoever wins the first fight, is it's generally a safe bet to say that they will have a major advantage throughout the entire game. So we will see how they do. All right, here we go. Right into Toronto. Hanging out near. Hanging out near War Warbirds Gym. Mm. I just really like seeing like little mini aspects of the map. It's always very nice. Yep. But last time, UTD very much dominated on uh, their push map against Converse. We'll see if that's a completely different story, just like how the Escort was a completely different story. Right? Yeah. So we will see a Reaper on either side. You silly little man. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. See, we'll keep playing this Reinhardt. Seems to be a huge comfort pick for him. I mean, Reinhardt isn't the best, but he's the most. He is very consistent. He may not be the most best meta, but he's a very consistent pick just throughout any time. Yeah, very, uh, Hammer coming in from behind, position. takes out Tinspire and puts killing come in with Savior, and Jukebox gets charged as well. This looks like Converse taking the first uh, push. And this is a huge advantage for Converse. As being the first one to push, generally means you're going to push for quite a long time. Uh, UG Dallas preparing to re-engage here. Oh, he is already halfway to his old shatter. Ooh, oh, Cash just goes behind Dang, and Garchomp. deletes Garchomp. Almost taking out Hammer as well. Focusing down the Ryan, breaking, almost breaking his shield. So close. Ryan getting charged in. Almost dying, getting, almost getting punished for it. As UTD retakes spot, forcing Converse all the way back. Converse didn't have enough time to make that first push meaningful yet. It's, a, it's around that roundabout, that U turn that it gets yeah. very, Once you very get to that dangerous. First checkpoint. But Ryan picks on Savior with the coalescence. We'll, we'll almost have this overclock online. It seems Converse does turn the fight around, however. Taking out Tinspire. But it seems that Converse does actually win this fight. Almost four ults on the board for both teams. BTD taking the high ground, poking down, getting that, that damage. Ooh, pedal. The window. Pedal as well, going with the overcharge, overclock, coming in, trying to get that railgun hit. Ooh, the, the shatter from Vixen doesn't get anybody. Oh. Papel does manage to get Hammer, and Cashier going with the Death Blossom, not catching anybody, but Garchomp getting Cashier instead. Ooh, that's a huge grab. grab. The grab forces out that heat. And the Coalescence. Getting both ults on the table. However, Converse does take it back. We are almost at this checkpoint here, too. She does not want that. 
Death Blossom coming in from Converse, dealing huge damage to UTD. Jukebox kills himself. With that right click. Oh no, this is not look good for UTD. Not at all. Converse will get this checkpoint with those forward spawns. That can change the entire game. Robot oh, is, is alone on, on this robot, just trying to get it away. Square being placed by Tinspire. It doesn't seem meant there's no real use for it at the moment, however, as Converse gets pushed all the way back, going to wrap around, hit them, hit UCD from behind. Jukebox and Cash try to go for the kill. Pedal gets taken out by Hammer. As Quincy just comes right on in, trying to get those easy picks. Got that. Shatter, Ooh, the shatter catching gets, the Lucio. Good save here. Takes him down. And comes in with the cleanup house. Hello. Let the push commence. I will you to doubt us. Lurch, I'm waiting to ambush UTD. Holding the up high ground here. I don't think Dallas know about regaining this spot. Winning this match. Stick on the hammer is just what they needed. Hello's not being. Hello trying to get the real gun kills here. Not actually getting. being able to get the kills though. He does get a lot of damage off, which makes for those final blow potentials from the rest of his team. This gives UCD the bot. See for how long. Can they make that push? Make that distance? They have a lot of fights ahead of them. Archon just setting up for this tire. He is waiting for them. And here comes the tire. The Baptiste knows. He knows. Yep, yep. And he Tins takes fired. it out. Takes it out. Now he had to lose square, he however, to do that. Low. Ooh, but the beat saves him just in time. Jukebox is so low. Almost about to die. Shatter Ooh. coming on in. The Shatter gets nobody. He gets nobody, but he's still the damage there is. Kosher, uh, Kosher's ult got denied. Oh. Canceled. Somehow they still win this fight. Yeah. Cash just, oh, just set it up, all up, and then and ready to move. then Pell just cleaned up right after. <sighs> Cash just set him up, Pedal knocked him down. Now Pedal does have overclock, so this can be huge. Converse holding the high ground, holding that window there, trying to get some meaningful picks off. They can't, so they wrap around to the U turn. The bed. Hell, trying to get those picks off, get those headshots. Needs to be a reaper fight here, having the force back. Coalescence coming on in. That's very big damage. Managing to save Garchomp last second. Hammer as well. Spirit gets popped up by UTD. Let's see if they can use it. some Quixie and Orion. That's huge a huge for the side value of from that square. <sighs> That's a team kill. Oh, that is a huge opening for UT Dallas. I think they might be able to make it back. Make up that space. Yeah, absolutely. I have no doubt about it. There is self destruct at the ready. Oh, Quixie misses the charge and just goes into the wall. Spider gets eaten by Jukebox. Jukebox does get the mech. Oh, he does self destruct to keep him up. Get that re mech real quick. Here comes another tire from Garchomp. This is going to be very dangerous. He gets Pedal. Pedal almost got the tire before he could get it off, but. So. Box forced back. Quixie looking for this good shatter. Not being able to do so as, as UTD is just on top of that bus. Shatter 
things up. Death Blossom. Both Death Blossoms coming in. Getting yeah. nothing, really. Kasha does win that uh, Reaper 1v1 oh. with the 3k. Not even from the Death Blossom, just his shotguns. Going off. Quixie does switch over to Orisa. Dallas, do you get the checkpoint so they will have unlocked this forward spawn? Ooh, Petal almost getting that kill up on Hammer. Not managed to do so. Spider trying to keep Jukebox alive here. So much damage being pumped out by Converse. Ooh, Petal does pop overclock though. But gets taken out immediately by Garchomp. Coalescence coming in is huge for Converse side right now. Self destruct by Jukebox. See if it gets any kills. Doesn't manage to get any picks, however. Saber does go down. That's just cash here. I think UTD will need to lose some ground to make it back up. They will have both support ultimates online, though. Here comes the amplification matrix. But UTD has no plans of losing the bot here. Popping both square. Ooh, Kasha pumping in tons of damage into Pixie. Forcing out that uh, beat from Kiwi. Forcing UTD back. UTD only has three seconds. They have to get on the bot. They have to contest. And win this team fight or else they're done. So coming on and taking out Cashier by Orion taking out Cashier does not look good. With a Death Blossom from Hammer on the point, Jukebox is trying to stop. They they need Cashier to be, come back alive and get on point. He does have Death Blossom, but they just need to stall long enough for him to be there. Cashier's almost there. Cashier does have Death Blossom. He uses it. But Cat Hammer somehow lives and doesn't manage to wipe off the point. And this looks like, oh, maybe UT might save it. But right now it looks like it's on Carver's side. Converse keeps getting those kicks. This is so close. UT is just forced to trickle in. They have no other choice here. Converse can clean up house. Yep, and Converse go up two to one in the series. After another dominant showing on Toronto. Play of the, game. the next map will be a hybrid map. Love to see those. Once again, that snowball push advantage definitely can be shown once again on this. You had to go through so many fights just to get to the barricade. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Yeah. Uh, just a completely different converse than what we saw the other day. Mm -hmm. Coming back into form. Just great showings from either side, honestly. So we will see how this next map goes down, which will be a hybrid. And we're just going to have to wait and see what the next map will be. And we'll see you then.
Welcome back. We are now going into King's Row. Uh, we do have Ber Derpy in on tank and Jukebox in for Savior on that uh, support role. Hopefully we will be able to see some Petal Widow as he is known for his hitscan and this is a, a hitscan heavy map. You may not see Petal on it. Ooh, Derby's on that Reinhardt. Reinhardt is also very uh, good on this map. And uh, just a subtle flex there, yeah. You know, you, you need that every once in a while. Oh, and a heart. heart is oh, it's a heart. Look how cute. <laughs> Are you scared? Has anyone ever told you? Now, Hammer's probably going to be looking for those early picks off at the beginning of the game. That Widowmaker. Now, Jukebox does have a pizza, however. Jukebox with the pizza! With this Rhine, I, can, I feel like I can expect a more aggressive hold from UTD. That may just be the answer they were looking for. Hammer switches off to Reaper. To deal with the Rhine. Alright, so still Kiwi goes down first. That's a great opening pick for Petal and Galaxy. Yeah, I'm getting taken out by Petal. Just glues right on in, forcing Converse to go all the way back to spawn. Nice pick on the hammer right out of spawn there. Did he leaving no room for Converse to move? Leaving no room for error here. And any mess up from Converse would just be a boon to UTD. That feels much better. Oh. Petal already has ult. That is super fast. Pops it straight away. It's a bunch of damage and take some Garchomp in the air. <laughs> that was a nice pin on a quick C. Derby with, Derby with the pin and the fire strike. Just outside of spawn as well. Absolutely. Seems that this switch was the answer they were looking for, but it is too soon to say anything for sure. Never celebrate too early. Exactly. It's not over till it's over. Hammer or Garchomp will need to try and get into this back line and take out the use down to support. Spear does get thrown in. Trying to get some value out of it. Um, Hell is just poking on. Yep. in with that Marissa ult. Oh, gets two, or no, just gets jukebox. And almost a full charge on it as well. <laughs> and that is what, charge. that is the opening they needed. <laughs> How in the chat? It was real. Real. Hello. Just reels all around. I don't think UTD can believe it. What just happened there? Out of nowhere, Converse coming in, teaming up. No setup, no nothing. Archon setting up for this tire. Probably gonna try and get Tasha up here on this high ground. Oh, here comes the blade from the hammer. 
Doctor, also Doctor brings out that Death Blossom. Getting Kiwi. Another pin kill. Seems that Derpy is, uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Seems Derpy is pretty uh, intent on winning that uh, Reinhardt 1v1. Yeah. I feel like kind of Reind it. Yeah. I feel like Garchomp probably should not have used his ult there. No, that was uh, poor <laughs> timing from him. Uh, bad coordination on Converse's side. Now it looks like Converse is go I mean, UTD is going to let Converse have that first corner. But they will re-engage with this overpod. Derpy showing Quixie how it's done on this Ryan. He's super aggro. And landing these awesome fire strikes. Good for him. Stay put. See, roll them back with the shatter though. See if it gets any value. He does have to worry about Derpy, however. Quickly. Rushing into the corner. Ooh. Trying to get that shield down, it looks like. He does Ooh. actually get taken down. Yes, that shatter. is a three-man shatter out of Quixie. It's huge. But... It's not seem to be going in their favor. Oh, oh it still gets taken down by that uh, bear trap. from the Jakar Chomp. Quixie was saved by the sound barrier. However, Quixie finally gets his revenge with yep. that fire strike onto Derpy. Hey. Hello. Hey. Sure does have Death Blossom here. Can make a really big play. Ooh, Hammer coming with the overclock. Getting Ooh, pedal. Now Cashier does manage to get Kiwi with his Death Blossom. Forcing Converse to actually get off point. Pedal returns with his Overclock. Now Garchomp is pulling up the tire here. Possibly looking to get that big nope, foot. No. No, no value. I, I wonder where it exploded. I didn't even see it. Like, oh. Right in the corner. Well, it does get a hammer with that overbox. Ooh. It does manage to shatter tin. Ultimately, no value out of that shatter from Quixie. As Dallas keeps them off the point and from getting that ult, that, uh, first checkpoint. See, it does walk back over to that Orisa. If he does have Shatter, however, so that can be an issue here. Oh! An engaged sound barrier? Just going right on in. Get Shattered, however, Ooh. taking out Kiwi. And I think they soon. are in overtime. Oh. Quixie is gonna get, get taken out too. And soon will be Hammer. And there goes round one. For easy Dallas. Solid mm -hmm. work. Stopping Converse just before that Score. second checkpoint. Zero to one. Switching I think sides. they found their answer. Yeah. The Ryan pick actually was huge here. Initiating match. Surprisingly. Big compliments to Derpy. But we'll see how he does on attack this time. As, as previously shown, Converse has done really well on defense. <laughs> Is cameraman having a bit of trouble? I think he's a bit stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness. Sad. There we go. Oh, there. He figured it out. Yay, cameraman. <laughs> but with, once again, pretty much the same starting lineup. Yep. Same compositions on either side. Except with UTLs on attack this mm -hmm. time. 
Now it looks like Petal's gonna go for Ooh, some Widow Snipes. For a cheeky opening pick, possibly. Yeah. On an off window as well, not the main one. Gotta, gotta throw him for a loop, you know? Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Lance right, is hugging the Looking for the pick. Right, no pick nope. there. Guess we'll have the to wall. swap off onto that Sojourn. I have to meet this aggressive Rhine from Derby in order to get some uh, nice progress. Derby is nice. Ready. And fire nice strike. fire strike there. Ooh. Just getting tons of damage. Look at that charge go. Absolutely. Already at 35%. Although Garchomp is almost halfway to his ultimate. There goes Garchomp, really? taken down by Kinspire. And Hammer as well, taken out by Petal. Much quicker take on this first point. You see, just whittles them down one by one. Mm -hmm. Hammer does switch over to May. Well, I want to see how this goes. May pick, not something we've seen at all today so far. Let's get taken Ooh. down, just in spawn there. The Railgun. Railgun does huge damage. Inspire coming back with that healing and that amp matrix. We'll see if Petal can make use of that square. Go. Petal distracting Ooh. completely of the Ryan. You two guys have three ults online. I'm just one. Yeah, I think two actually with uh, Kiwi coming in soon. Alright, they're, they're making some progress on this. Ooh, Shatter blocked by Kiwi. Getting no one. But they do manage to kill, kill Kiwi. Here comes the coalescence from Orion. Just keeping his team popped up. They did spot Cashier here. Oh, just, <laughs> just got shoved into that corner and taken down. That looked brutal. There's nothing he can do. Now, Quixie does have Shatter here. This can get very dangerous for ETB. Maybe he's gonna have to read this. Ooh, he, Ooh. Get, he gets behind Derpy and drops the Shatter, but Kosher gets two with that. Oh! Ooh, the Tire gets taken out by the Overclock. Those are some. Huge old values from UT Dallas with both that overclocked and the death blossom. Uh, UT Dallas's DPS are gonna go uh, move on forward while the rest of the team move this cart up. Trying to build that space for them to yeah. tap. Now they do have to retreat, how, however, as Converse barely makes it onto, onto the payload. Is so low. But Ooh, a two-man shatter onto Converse's support. But Hammer takes out Tinspire and freezes the payload, taking out Derpy, and will soon probably take out Jukebox. Sojourn just on this high ground still. Takes down Garchomp. No one can really get onto that high ground, but Hammer gets a nice little headshot onto Petal. Just barely. Beautiful ice. Now UT does have about three minutes still have three minutes, yes, and they are just barely at that at that finish. We'll see if they be able to manage bleh, they be able to manage possibly get that one meter. That one meter that they need. Right, and while it's completely isolating Ryan here. Leaving him to die. Nothing that ETD could have done about it, however. Ooh! Hammer getting those two dominant. icicles? Is that what that was? Yeah, a dominant fight from Converse. A lot of help from Hammer. He's trying to get some poke damage just to charge up his ult. Just a little bit more. But Tinspire and Petal do have 
Oh, so at the ready. will likely come this window. There we go. There we go. Get that oh, big damage. Does get taken down early. Quixie pushes forward past the window to make sure they don't get any value out of it. This tire will come out here. Nope. Oh, guess not. Converse does manage to push you back. Dallas managed to Dallas decide to fall back. Ooh, Blizzard coming in. Blizzard, Blizzards are so well timed from Hammer. Hammer's doing so much here. There's so much value coming out of him right now. Dude, Dallas are gonna have to make a comeback or else Converse could take this map and the game. Definitely looked like it was in their favor in the beginning. Yep. But now I'm not so sure. With a minute left on the clock, UT Dallas are gonna have to pull out something big. Ooh, okay, and that's a great way to start. Picking up Kiwi. Oh, here comes the tire though. Can be very nice. Coalescence comes in as well. Derpy shattered, I think, but now he has any value. I think Quixie also shattered. Did, yes. That's a late pick on the Derpy. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to come back from that. But they have to get on point now. They do yeah, not they have only time. have 15 seconds left. If they don't, Converse will take this game. And with that, the finals as well. I don't get to pick on Orion there. Comes out from Jukebox. I'm kidding. Ooh, Ooh huge! The 4K Death Blossom from Kosher. Holy crap! That, and that, that wins it for UTV! And now it's a tied series, 2 to 2. They almost lost that. That came out of nowhere. I honestly expected UTV to lose that one. Yeah. But now it is really at match point. Indeed, oh, indeed. it's not the it's not 4K from Gosh. I love that. I love that like play of the game thing because that ability is no. no Orisa no longer has that ability now. <laughs> what ability? The uh, or the play of the game uh, little cinematic intro. Oh, okay. Orisa no longer has that ability. <laughs> no, she doesn't have that halt ability now. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, now we're up two to two in the series. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was a uh, interesting uh, King's Row. Yeah, Rally, that's for sure. We will be going back to Control for the final map, um, which will either be Ilios, Lijong Tower, or Oasis. We saw Oasis, so I doubt we're gonna see it again. But who knows? Okay, it looks like it's gonna be Lijong. Mm. We do see Lijong a lot. Yeah, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Um, but now it just. Come to who's got the better strat, who's got the better comp, who's got the better coordination. Mm. Yeah. Now, last time, UTD barely edged out with control. Mm -hmm. They barely got it in. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if they can, you know, come out with the win here. Yep. Made the best team win. <laughs> um. But, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that we could 
Go back before you got hurt, hurt, hurt. When before, when before I was scared, scared. Now, I'm feeling, now you're feeling the pain. Don't you wanna feel good? Don't you wanna feel good, good, good? When you say you were leaving, I thought that you meant it. I played the victim, you start as indifferent. Welcome back to the match point. It's a two to two tie between Converse and UT Dallas. And we're here on Lijong Tower for our final map of the day and the series. Mm -hmm. Or the, the tournament thing. <laughs> now let's. So they will stick with this derpy because, uh, with this derpy uh, on Ryan pick because it worked out for them yeah. on the. On King's Row, last map, we maybe Kasha will go on to this ju uh, Junkrat because hey, Junkrat's a huge pick on this clear, point please. of Lejong. A hammer's gonna come up with the sim to get them teleport, teleport Converse yeah. right on in. Where's with Kiwi with the speed boost? Tin is man maintaining one. that Baptiste. Alright, going right in. Hammer swaps over to that Reaper. Mm. Derpy's just right on to point. As Converse holds the high ground here. He's very spread out, actually. Make sure that no splash damage really feels much. They can't take out Ryan. Ryan is down. Oh, and there goes both the DPS for UT Dallas. It does look like this fight will go either way as Kashri swaps over to the Genji. I think UTD does have the advantage here, however. Converse, al tank here. Converse almost take that first point, but do not as Derpy just manages to reach that point. Ryan is the team up. Quixie gets taken down by that fire strike from Derpy. Being down a tank is very punishing. No watch shit. Considering there's only one of them now. Mm hmm. And they're much stronger now as well. Jukebox yeah. with a double environmental kill? Oh. Possibly. There's two boot kills on that in that kill feed there. And Derpy already has the shatter. Oh that, my goodness. Tinspire with that matrix as well. In comparison, Quixie only is at 50%. Now, Pedal will soon have his overclock as well. Yep. I'm just looking to re-engage, not sure how to. Right, they run in with that Rhine Shield. Ooh, Square, square being put up. Drops the Matrix, which allows uh, Pedal to get a kill with that Railgun. Good poke damage here. Be looking for that kill, looking for that easy quick fix. Here comes the shatter, shatter kill onto Hammer. Now Garchomp is gonna get two Ooh, here. Oh, that's a that's a the immortality. Yeah, it's it's immortality along with jukebox. But Metal does get two with that railgun, if I'm not mistaken. Forcing Quixie all the way back. Hammers are gonna have to reevaluate this strategy and figure out a new way to get in there. Pedal just stalling for time with that. Grenade. As Cashier and Jukebox both have their ults at the ready. Blade can be big here. Yeah, Ooh, here's pick. Blade from Kosh. Getting a big pick, I think. Oh, he gets our chomp. DPS down. There's the shatter. Gets nobody. It's blocked by Derpy. Here comes the B. Interesting times. I think just to get on the push, get the offensive. He's on both sides. Get that morale up. Quixie managed Somebody, to kill yeah. though. Hammer just barely manages to hold out on this point. He's taken down by a <laughs> hammer. Hammer down is doing a lot of work. Ooh, it's good saving Derpy from that charge. Absolutely. That is the round one going to the side of UT Dallas. That was a very cool. dominant map from them but i wouldn't call converse out just yet as they've definitely switched around with that yep 
They are just insane. Everyone UTD does have an advantage here. Do Derpy MVP. <laughs> oh. oh. No. You can click the button. Hammer. No nonsense. We do this clean. Copy? I'm disappointed. Although I don't think I've ever been able to make a basket. Probably because I also just don't try. Mm. You can always try again. There's a button. I, I know there is. I'm, <laughs> I'm well aware. I just never try in the first place. You guys are switching over to Genji. The hammer's sticking on that May. It gets Ooh. taken down immediately by Jukebox. That is a huge pick for you. May is not the go. That's safe. The hammer has been punishing. Oh, Ooh. no! Oh. He gets Ooh. both as well! Somebody clip that! Clip that! <laughs> Please? <laughs> that was huge! Jukebox of ven Venging Derpy. His tank brother. <laughs> that was a goofy end right there. Absolutely. That was a very goofy fight. As UT Dallas takes the point first. There's a lot of time for them to work with. Cashier hunts down the Moira. Doesn't see what the Gets. Goes low, almost taken out. Quixie's so close to Dasher takes him out. Eventually goes down to Hammer. I think Hammer's done here as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. Forgot about it. Ryan, just trying to build that whole charge there. Dallas shape shook off the nerves from that King Grove. Mm -hmm. Going back stronger than ever. It looks like got the shatter. Ooh, shatter. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> falls off the map? <laughs> what? Question mark? That feels much better. Was well, that just? Hello. I feel like that wasn't intentional. No, Hello. but Probably you know what? Not. Calculated. Okay, Quixie goes over to the Rhine. No, it must have been intentional because yeah. he's swapping over. Calculated. Calculated. Tactical retreat. The Jukebox does have B, so if anything big happens on Comfort's side. Oh, Ooh, Shatter gets blocked by Der from Derby. Both bullets being popped by UT Dallas in reaction to that, that uh, coalescence. Yep. Urchum getting caught out in the side room here. <laughs> both pedal, both Quixie and Derpy just hammering it out and Ooh. charging. It. <laughs> Stunning just... each other, but Derpy does have that immortality field. Derpy has allies here. Quixie's yeah. all alone. These guys are at 99%. While Converse has yet to flip the point, but they do manage to kill. Inspire. That is that is three Man, picks. Derby. So it looks like they will finally manage to grab this point. Yep, there we go. Quixie barely making out with his life. Cashier actually booping him up. Yep. And around into safety. It all has to be wary of these of these icicles coming out from Hammer. Hammer's icicles are deadly. Right. Here comes the tire <laughs> from Kosh. Oh, so it gets fire, fire striked. Strike. Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going in. He can get a hammer. And we'll soon take out Quick Z. It's just a bow. Looks like UT Dallas sort of flipping the point back to their side after Orion tries to hold on to the point with this coalescence. If UTD takes this, I think this might be it for the. For the Garchomp gets two with the railgun. This is. They managed to make it back? That's a 3k from Garchomp. Converse takes it back? They do. Oh! Hammer on that tracer and Quixie on the ball. I thought UTD had that one. Quixie is switching back off that ball since they no longer need to stall. Whoever wins this wins the season. In the final. Let's see. 
Hell, just looking for those picks. Yeah, bring some damage in. I think Converse is trying to regroup right now. Ooh, that's a pin kill on him. Oh, that is. Oh, okay, put up. There's the pulse bomb. It gets nothing. Shatter's that's huge. A massive shatter from Derpy. I think I think Moira's done here. We're not. Oh, get saved with that beat. I'm coming back on the soldier. And I think Converse is able to make it back all the way. They stalled long enough. Oh, somebody needs to touch the point. Surrender to and it's one to one, one, one. on Shong. That was super close. Damn. Just UTD I, didn't match clean up. They could have sworn that would have been a 2 0 for yeah. UTD. What? Again, it's not over till mm -hmm. it's over. Not over till it's over. I always called it way too soon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all? Now, Converse has been stalling very, very well here. Absolutely. And you see, i just not been able to finish those last two kills. In every single one of those, like, game-winning fights. Those last two, they just stalled them out. One, round three. Capture the objective. Right. Definitely getting the out. Is no longer on that May. That's an early pick on Tinspire. That is not good for UTD. They are down major heals. I think Jukebox is soon. Oh. oh I did give up Jukebox, but instead turn his eyes. Converse will take this point first. Yes, it looks as like UT so. Dallas needs to regroup. Converse and UTD are neck and neck here. There's no clear who is going to win. And UTD is wrapping around into White Room. Right on the point. Shatter! The shatter gets the not gets two. It gets two. Oh. Then he gets Where if he gets shredded there? A huge amount of damage. Uh, tactical off. retreat. Yeah. Pops over to May. Oh. That's an interesting pick. Also probably going to try hammer. and isolate uh, some of these players on yeah. the side of Converse. Also probably deal with Hammer being, you know, a bit of a nuisance. Absolutely. does have Blade, which is very dangerous for UTD. Right. The clock and the window coming from UTD Dallas. So no ult pop from Converse. Here nope. comes Dragon Blade, Blade. and comes one. Coalescence. Ooh, Ooh, but it gets shattered! Huge shatter. He keeps his team alive with that beat. And Converse manages to stay alive and take out two from UTD. Pretty much ending this fight. Yeah. UT Dallas only have one fight left, but they have no ults in the bank. This does not look good for UTD at all. And they're going to be delayed. I don't think they have a choice here. They just have to contest. And yeah, hope. they just have to touch and hope to get a few picks. Ooh, that's early too. They think Tim Sprite's gonna go down next, and then I'd always seem to be soon as well. And there we go. Converse win the series three to zero. Two three, that is very close. Oh, is it oh. the environmental kill? Do we get to see it? <laughs> I think so. One. <laughs> there goes the there's a two. Oh, Wait, sorry. how? Oh, what? No, no, there's a two. I Wait, I don't know. I I'm don't... confused as to what I just saw. Um, there was only one boop there and everyone just flew off. Everybody else just got off of their own volition. Mm.
But uh, yeah, looks like uh, Converse will be taking this tournament mm -hmm. and winning the finals. Congratulations to them. But uh, also a good fight put up from uh, UTD. It was very, very close. It was a very close match. That is definitely for sure. I feel like both us and the team that they fought before did not see Converse coming out like this. Not at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to everybody involved. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was a very interesting uh, end to this uh, cycle. And. We'll <laughs>